Hey guys, it's Dustin here, another Dutch Boy Adventure. I uh, wanted to let you guys know I'm here at a really interesting place. I'm going to flip it around so you guys can see, hopefully. And the house over here I did before, but it's always been overgrown and still pretty much is. I'm over here at a, at a barn where uh, they had they must have had cows or, or at least um, pigs because here's a little ramp, a little chute for them to go up, maybe even go, who knows. But anyways, I'm walking around. I'm starting to clear stuff out. I'll let you guys take a peek in here. I don't want to... These areas usually have... Well, that's really old. I think that was a well. Am I right about that, guys? Are we looking at a well? There's, those are cut log. Oh, my. Look at that. I think that is a well. I'm not going in, guys. I might have Chigger's hat on, but I don't have Chigger's uh, nerves of steel. But yeah, you can see in here, man. I don't want to spook out anything alive in here. Just too many opportunities for snakes and little critters. Although right in here, I will clear out this little spot here before I uh, go. But anyway, I'm clearing stuff out, okay? I'm clearing things out. I'm walking around and I'm just moving stuff. And uh, I got a lot of stuff out of here. And I come over here and one of the last things I saw was this. And I thought, ah, a little piece of schmutzy metal, right? I mean, let's even get closer. This is probably one of the... This is a pretty good surface find. It's a bell, guys. It's still got the clapper. <laughs> it's not feeling very festive. It's not an ornament either. I think this sat outside. Look, it still has the... Shank. If we'll call it that, or hanger yeah <laughs> i will take that that sat there for how many years just waiting for me to come by if you guys have any comments let me know i think i could straighten this thing out pretty much i know i can but uh oh man i can't wait to clean this up that's really really cool that's probably a copper chain too I didn't even hit it with the machine. I couldn't even tell you, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's metal. If tin or, yeah, it doesn't feel that heavy. So that's really, really cool. <laughs> so first artifact of the day is a, a bell, a barn bell. Get back to, well, it actually looks like there might be something on there when I clean that up. Get back to you guys. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this too. I am not going to touch this because it's old, it's wooden, it's had to have been sitting here. I think they've been out of here for at least 40 years. Um, but I just thought I'd show you how cute that is. I, I just don't, if it was more sturdy looking, I may even take it home, but it just isn't. And I don't want to, I don't want to do that. But you know, I just think it stays with the family that was here. And then over here, you guys know what those are, they're barrel bands. So they had a wood barrel there sitting probably forever until that rotted out. And, well, there's even, you can still see pieces of the slat in there from it. So I'm hoping, uh, I mean, this is just a stop, one of my stops today. I'm gonna go in here too. There was a doorway and I'm gonna come here. And that's all I'm doing is this little area today because I really need them to take the grass down so I can hit the fields, but that might not happen until next year. All right, guys, I'll get back to ya. Hopefully I'm not... I gotta start slowing down on the camera so you guys don't get all whiplashed. But yeah, look at that. That's the old doorway going in. Now, you look at it and it's a uh, cinder block, but if you look at the foundation, it's field stone. So, I'm wondering if this was a spring house of some sort at one point. Or if this is where they slaughtered them. Ah, yes. This is probably where they slaughtered them. There's probably a drain there. That's pretty creepy to even think that. But you had to eat. Something was there, right, guys? Hey, if anyone really knows for certain, leave me a comment, man. I'd love to know. All right, get back to you. So... 
I moved out of that area because here it turns out there was concrete like just a half inch underneath all that mucky dirt. So I decided to come out here where they would have to walk across here. Um, so from here to here, I figure I'll pound back and forth. And the first hit, the very first hit, can you guys see? There it is. Can you see it? I don't know if it's modern or silver, tell you the truth. I don't know if it's a dime or a nickel. Looks like a dime. Doesn't feel heavy. Oh, it's a mem. Look at that, guys. It's a memorial. Doesn't that suck? All kinds of you-know-what. Wait, what the heck? No, it's not. What is this thing? Hey, guys, what do I have? Uh, it's some sort of anniversary. It's not a memorial. All right, rub it up. Rub it up, rub it up. I mean, it's coming in the silver range. 27, 29, 30, 26, bouncy. Yeah, that's silver. So... Am I Minor? I don't know. 1790? I don't think this is a 1790 coin. Don't get me wrong. Maybe it's just a token. Like a. Yeah, this is. This feels like um, the stuff they make out of their tokens back in the 40s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. So, what I'll do is I'll clean that up for the video. And. Um, well, I can't tell. I rub it this way, and it feels silver, and it feels like a light silver. Then you go over here, and it feels just like tin. I don't know. All right, we'll see if we can get that cleaned up a little bit better for you guys. But, hey, we got a... Man, I'd really like to be able to read that. Yeah, I think it's tin. Anyways, get back to you. We're on the board again. All right, gang, I switched fields. Um, so you might hear a little more traffic noise on this one. But my first, very first, I've never been on this field before. Uh, my very first signal, it could be modern, but it's coin. So let's check it out together. All right, you guys see it? Could be modern. Could be an old nickel. I think it's an old nickel. It was a 12, 13 bouncing around. Yeah, it's a nickel for sure. Man, wouldn't it be nice if it's a buffalo? Let's see. Oh, Lord. I actually think it is. But I saw a date even. Right off the initial bat. Well, let's see this. Nope. It's Jefferson. Let's see how old it is. 50s, right? We know it's not a war nickel. Oh, Lord. I don't think we're going to be able to see, guys. Hey, but we're on the board. I'll let you guys know when... Uh, well, I'll clean it up. Maybe. <laughs> Get back to you. All right, gang just re recovered this old it's probably a hubbly part of a tractor pretty cool huh nice so yeah this is definitely uh right at the greenhouse i can only imagine the kids were playing while the parents are collecting uh money and helping customers so really really cool get right back to you hopefully there's more i'm in a battle with time of course this time of year so i got maybe two hours left so let's get cracking Okay guys, just got onto this. It's pretty heavy too, but it's not silver. I don't see any fancy schmancy, but it's old. Yeah, there's no fancy schmancy. We're not gonna really get to see it until we clean it, but there you go. So where I'm at right now used to be a greenhouse. And this is where the owner 
that told me to go before. So I'm going around this area. So far I found the KG and I found this piece of um, flatware. So it's definitely, it was silver plate. There you go, get back to you. Hey gang, I don't know if you can see. Let me try to find it for you. Boom, boom, boom. There it is. I don't know what it is. Uh, cross your fingers. Should we get it together? Let me try to do this through the phone. Uh, all right. Ooh, it's a coin. I suck it's a coin, but I am willing to bet, guys, it's going to be hard to get anything off this sucker. Oh, man. <laughs> it's hard to keep my hands on it. <laughs> Uh, let me do a quick rub-a-dub or else we'll be here all day playing with this old janky thing and I'll get back to you. That's pretty cool. Might be a button though, to tell you the truth. I don't know. Let me find out. I'll get back to you guys. All right, gang. Um, I, just a quick, it, this is all like uh, really hard packed dirt and stuff. I don't want to scrub the crap out of it here. I'm going to say by the diameter that it's either... Well, that it's an English copper. Uh, but we'll find out definitively when I do the wrap up in the video at the end. I'll get a picture of however I get it cleaned out. But I just found a KG out here the other day. And uh, luckily, uh, Aqua Chigger, Bo, he looked at it and found the markings. It was a KG for sure. So let's hope we get a date somewhere along here or here. But I'll get back to you uh, at the end. We'll know better. Get back to you. All right, gang. I don't know if you see it there. It's a big copper desk. It's not a coin, I can tell you that. <sighs> but what is it, right? Is it some big goofy badge of some sort? Maybe a horse rosette. Oh man, I'm never gonna figure that out. Now we can look at the back and it was a pin. I could already tell you by judging at the back, right there. So, right there and there, that was where it, you pinned it onto something. Now what's on it, who knows? Let's do another rubber dub. That's pretty cool though. You know, that's old, it's heavy too guys. It's not a piece of farm equipment, I can tell you that. That is old. My guess, guys, is this is um, like a horse rosette that got pinned onto a saddle or attached to a saddle somehow. Well, that's like it's silver wash almost. It, hang, it, it rung at a like almost a solid 24 and exploded. So it was laying flat. All right, well, hopefully for the cleanup video, I'll have something off that. If not, that's gonna be where I'm, what I'm sticking with is that it's a horse rosette or a piece of horse tack that was just part of um, ornament on a saddle or something. You know what I'm talking about, I hope. All right, we'll get back to ya. So much to find. Hey guys, just got me another copper. Let's see, right there. I got an itch, hold on. I'm itching my leg. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Oh, that's a real thin one, too. Oh, man, come on. At least one, this is even thinner. Maybe the other one was, uh, wasn't a KG, because this is real thin. This is what I would think would be a KG. Oh, good luck getting anything off of these coins today. Wow. It's cool getting old coins, but boy, if you can't see them, what fun's that, right? What fun's that? I can get all the coppers I want, but I need to see them. Let me try to clean it up real quick. Get right back to you. All right, guys. So I think right here is... Well, I can't tell. Oh, I can't tell. It's a KG for certain. Wait, that's the bust. 
That's a bust. I'm almost certain that's a bust. But it might not be a KG. I can't tell. We'll have to let it dry out more. Get home. Might have to soak them a little bit. Now here's something I do. If I have a coin that doesn't come out, I I will clean the crap out of it to try to get an idea. I'm starting to see a bust. You can see the bottom of it. Uh, I will clean them because um, there's no sense of having a coin that you can't tell what it is. So I will take every effort to try to clean them. But yeah, it's, I'm almost certain that's a KG. Nice. See the line going across. And that should be the side with the shield. Yeah, see something going up that way, something going that way. There should be a little uh, crown up here. Yep. KG, baby. 1700s all day long. That's two now. Let's get one with a full date. But, oh, come on, son. Stay with me now. Stay with me. All right, guys. So I'm taking this little game trail off the beaten path because I see this bar down here, this little gravel bar. And this is, this there actually is across the street, uh, protected Indian uh, burial ground. So they were up and down this area plenty. So I'm going to come in here just because I, I bought it from up there. And, and I hope we find something, guys. That would be so cool. Of course, I say this in every video, it seems like, anymore. But sooner or later, well, there's some bones. No, it's not bones. Everything looks like something. How about... You guys see something I miss? Just give me a holler. I'm going to have to get down and really look. So I'm going to walk through here just real quickly like I am so you guys can see what I see. And then I'm going to come back and uh, kind of get down and really look. Push some things around with my hands. See if I can find anything. All right, I will get back to you guys. All right, guys. I just walked back here. What do you guys think about this little area here? Looks like it was a spring house, right? I'm not wandering down there. I'm just not interested in it at this moment. But just looking at it, and then that's about a 100-year-old growth tree. And everything else around it's like, I don't know, I'd say 70, 80 years old. I, I'm wondering if, if it was spring, I'd be able to see if there's flowers. But it looks like it It was built right there, right there. What do you guys think? I have no idea. It's pretty neat. I've never been back here. So, cross your fingers. Today, I'm just really checking out these fields i've had them for a while and um i don't know if they're worth spending too much time on um and i really haven't done too much on it today i just really did one line to here and found an old nickel so get back to you all right so I'll, this is the back field i have no idea how old this is i'm basically because as you guys could see i'm really losing light i'm going to head out there and just do one shot to the middle and then angle a different angle back just to see if I could find anything. But I'm gonna have to come back. It's getting dark quick. Yeah, back to you. Hey guys. Just found this. I'm believing. I'm believing it's a musket ball. Yep. So there we go. Looks like it hit something. It's not a slug. It's a musket ball. Slug would have that little dimple in the middle. All right, get back to you. Winding down. Boy, I tell you, it's getting dark. and But I'm swinging the whole way out, guys. I'm taking advantage of every warm moment in December that I can get back to you. All right, guys, this could well be my last uh, haul of the day because uh, it's getting dark. 
Let's see what we got. Now it was an 1819, 1890. That's usually before I, I flip this over to see. Let me get into some light. An 1819 is almost always an Indian head. Who knows? Oh, it's an Indian head. Look, guys. I can see the top of... Oh, dang it. Let's do this. Yeah, you can see the top of the headdress right there. So, I'm going to take that home, and I'm going to clean that up. Yeah, you can see the... You can see the there it is. There it is. There it is. So there you can see the silhouette of the headdress. So 1819, uh, they are always my good signals for uh, Indian head. Yeah. Oh, I can almost see a date. Let's see. If I could be steady enough. Oh, well, we'll get it at home. This field was super tough on coins. You saw the two kgs. You see the Indian head very very uh it has that clay in it um and then like this side over here doesn't have as much of the clay in the topsoil here i guess from being tilled and tilled and tilled and tilled uh and it just has so much organic growth in in it that it's so dark it's not red so whatever that is that's you know really eating these coins up but hey I will take three coppers. I'll take two kgs and Indian head any day. Let's try for one more. All right, back at you guys. All right, gang. Last hole of the day. You can see how dark it is now. Let's hope it's not a grommet. Now, it came up at 12, so it should be a button. Oh, I could tell by the curve in it. Oh man, this is gonna be a sweet button. Oh guys, whoa. The last find of the day is this. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my God. Shank's not complete, but it's like 75% complete. Wow guys, oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. The whole time I'm like, this field's so old, but it seems so pounded. But it, I just, you know, I've only been here an hour or less, so that's that getting uh, impatient. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, guys, thanks for joining me on this hunt. This is a heck. Oh, it was spun too. I'll show you guys that later. Um, wow, old button, guys. She's a nice one. She's a dandy. Sweet. All right, guys, that's it for today. What better way to go out than with a fancy button? That's what it's all about, guys. Saving that history. Thanks for tuning in.